Welcome back. We're just wrapping things up here on Moresia. Apparently, Consultant Idia underestimated this reptile's appetite for electrical energy. That egotist, thinking he could get away with it. Some of these animals are even from Romulan space. Did he think I wouldn't notice? Are you certain the animals are Romulan in origin? It would take more tests to be certain, but they definitely came from Romulan space. It's not surprising. Aramet does a lot of trading along the neutral zone. What will happen to this reptile? I'm sure Constable Lixi will want to send it back, unless I can convince her to keep it here. A creature like that doesn't come by every day. But it's still dangerous and still illegal, isn't it? Oh well. I believe the captain will want to pursue Idia and Aramut. Will this incident significantly delay completion of the preserve? It'll be a little behind schedule, but I have a few suggestions to help them speed things up. Then it is time we return to the Enterprise. Good luck, Doctor. Beam us up. And she doesn't even say goodbye. Or Captain's log supplemental. Our successful attempt to locate Dr. Hunforsch has uncovered another mystery. Apparently, the creature responsible for the chaos on Marassia may have come from Romulan space. We are currently searching for the Ferengi trader Aramut. Despite somewhat questionable trading practices, he has never violated Federation law until now. Captain, Tabak asks to speak with you. Captain. I heard about what happened on Morassia. That creature you discovered. It sounds exactly like a Veranak. A Garidian creature. Except the Veranak was exterminated long ago. Well, then it's probably a different creature, isn't it? How could a Ferengi trader get hold of an extinct animal? I have a theory. The followers brought many animals with them when they fled Garid. It may be that this creature came from the followers' colony. Well, that's awfully convenient. Uh, it's nice that this, uh, that in the story of this game, that the early missions, that they all nicely tie together this way. But it's also just one huge coincidence. A bit unbelievable. So, if we learn where he got the animal, we may learn where the fifth scroll is. I think this is a promising lead to pursue. Captain, we've found Aramut. Our Ferengi trader should be at Jaward 3. Set a course for the Jaward system. Engage. Oh, we're still at warp 9.4. I found that these uh, cutscenes make it a bit difficult for me to... Uh, keep the audio synchronized of my of my narration I mean makes these videos a bit harder to edit according to Aramut's flight plans he should have arrived at Joward 3 mr. data report there is no ship in this vicinity However, sensors are picking up subspace induction vortices headed for the Nigold system. Subspace induction vortices, okay. Set a course for the Nigold system. Engage. Oh, that was an entirely pointless stop. See if this uh, Aramut guy is at Nigold. Captain, we are approaching Aramut's ship. Okay, he's here. Let's see what he has to say for himself. He's been smuggling after all. Hmm. 
Okay, I honestly have no idea what the best option here is. My memory of the game after Morassia is a lot... Uh, a lot more spotty. Let's just hail them. Hail them, Mr. Wolf. They are not responding. In that case... Shields up, Mr. Wolf. Lock phasers. Let's just be aggressive. Captain, they are activating their warp drive. They are attempting to flee. At maximum speed, they will be out of range in 12 seconds. We cannot allow that, Mr. Wolf. Prepare to fire a warning shot. Lock phasers, 5% power. Fire. Firing phasers. Direct hit. No damage. We are being hailed. Okay, that got his attention. We didn't even get a cutscene of uh, the, the shot this time. What's the meaning of this? How dare you fire upon a helpless tradesman? I am Aramut, an honest Ferengi trader. I am not a criminal. Why does the Federation persecute me? Honest Ferengi? Is that uh, not a contradiction? You are wanted for smuggling. You will accompany us to the nearest starbase where you will be turned over to the proper authorities. Accusations require proof, Captain. I do not think Starfleet Command would enjoy hearing how you bullied a defenseless traitor based only upon your suspicions. Your last shipment to Marassia included several protected species banned from import under Federation law. Nonsense. All of my animals are perfectly legal. The animals listed in your records may have been legitimate, Adamant, but those weren't the ones you shipped. The restricted species were deliberately mistagged. This is a terrible shock to me, Captain. My suppliers must have substituted the illegal animals to fill their orders. Hmm? Do you believe him? Because I don't. It is a sad thing when a supplier cheats an honest businessman like myself. I'm glad we could clear up this misunderstanding so quickly. If that is all, I'll be on my way. Perhaps the Romulans would be interested to learn that several of the species you transported came from their space. I think I'll send them a report. <laughs> Ooh. Clever little uh, threat there. You do know what Romulans do to smugglers, don't you? What lies are you spreading, human? I didn't take any Romulan species. They were from Phrygis. Phrygis? What else that? Well, if we're mistaken, I'm sure you can explain everything to the Romulans when they find you. I am sure we can negotiate a deal, Captain Picard. The only thing I'm willing to negotiate is your surrender, as well as Idia's. I see you're doing this wrong. Captain Sisko was always much better at negotiating with Ferengi than Picard was. You can take Idia, but I can tell you much in exchange for my freedom. Perhaps you'd be interested in some unusual movements of the Romulan fleet. If the Romulan fleet is doing unusual movements, then why would a Ferengi trader know about that and Starfleet Intelligence would not? Mr. Data, transmit the coordinates of the brig so that Adamut can beam Idia to his new quarters. All right, Adamut, you've got a deal. You're letting him off? Okay. Done, then. It is a fair exchange. You may have Idia and my shipping records immediately. Now, for the information you have purchased. I hear reports from the other side of the neutral zone, not that I've ever been there, of course, about a massive refit of the Romulan fleet. What kind of refit? They've upgraded the warp coils and added secondary power cores to many warbirds. The weapon systems suffer, of course. It may even impair cloaking ability. But they could easily outlast any Federation vessel at maximum warp. Sounds like they're in a hurry to get somewhere. It sounds as if the Romulans are in a race. One they want to win very badly. 
Who can say what the Empire does or does not want? But a merchant always watches the spending habits of potential customers. For example, there has been a sharp rise in the price of ancient Takan and Chodak relics in sectors near the neutral zone. Chodak? That's the second time we've heard that, because um, uh, Shaynok was also looking at Chodak, ru Chodak ruins. Interesting information, if it's true. Uh, we'll have to continue this in the next video. I keep breaking uh, the videos in the middle of conversations. Honestly, I don't do that on purpose, but it just keeps uh, ending up that way. So, see you next time.